Thanks to everyone who have subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. The president said, go and build the party from the base. From the world. That is what we are doing. And anybody who cannot comply with the party structure has to leave the party. And... We are warning the suspended national chairman. If he continues with his activities in Edo State, I will show him that I am the governor of Edo State. Because while he was governor, he will not tolerate a fraction of the misdemeanors and misbehavior he is undertaking today. So I have decided and declared that if Comrade Oshomali comes here, to our state to say he wants to disrupt the activities of the state or the party who will deal with him the way we know how best to do okay we are the dominant party here other people want to come and join us we don't want to scare them away and create an impression that we are a party that is not organized that is always fighting we are not fighting there are some people who truly don't belong here, and they are showing their color. So, as you meet, just note that the leadership, you are the party. You are the party. And our constitution is clear how we do our things. You will determine how the party is run according to the constitution. The party in Abuja is the national. The membership of the party are here in Edo State. They determine. Nobody can come and impose, impose his will, particularly when that, that will or actions are against the constitution of the party in Edo. It will not happen. And I put I, my final word. I have said it, Commander Shomali stands suspended for the party in this state. Hello everyone, um, here is a video to show um, Obaseki speech addressing Oshomole. I will show you that I am a do state governor, Obaseki warns Oshomole. It reads, it appears the dispute would last longer than expected as the state governor, Godwin Obaseki, continues to criticize his predecessor and national chairman of the APC, Adams Oshomole, addressing a forum of party chairmen on Wednesday in Benin City, the Edo state capital. The governor reads a riot act of, to the national chairman. He says he will not hesitate to deal desperately with anyone involved in anti-party activities, including Oshomole. In the video below, Obaseki accused his predecessor of creating a lot of problem for the party in the state. He warns Oshomole that if he would not show if he will that he will show him that is the governor of the state if he continues with the proposed anti party activities in a those states wow here is a video you can hear for yourself i got a caption for you to hear um Osho, uh, Baseki addressing oshomole that the party in um, abuja is the national why the one in a those states it's the local one and so whatever happens in the national national cannot impose Oh yeah, cannot come and impose on um, the local what they should do. For there is a constitution that guides the party. You can't just come from nowhere and just come and impose on the people of the party here and now that this is what they should do. It is not heard of and is not constitutional. Oh, Baseki is warning Oshomole to desist from anti-party 
activities, as this will not help promote the party. He's not. He's, he's saying Oba, uh, Oshomole stands suspended, and Oshomole. He has asked Oshomole to behave himself, apologize. Then he can be reintegrated into the party. But for the time being, Oshomole stands suspended. Remember that the the chaos between them is still ongoing, and this has not yet been resolved. Um, Obaseki, the fraction of Obaseki has also taken Oshomole to court. You can refer to my uh, previous videos uh, to Abuja to um, to take uh, to um, strike Oshomole out of the party. But the court in Abuja initially, the judgment was uh, Oshomole should be given warning, at least one, two, three warnings before it gets to the courts. But um, just a few days ago. The court in Abuja has dismissed the case. Uh, we don't know what's going on with that. We don't know if um, Obaseki and uh, his fractions are going to appeal that. But Obaseki is saying they don't want anti-party activities in the state. They want everybody to behave themselves in an orderly and in a proper fashion. That Oshomole will not agree, will not condone what he's doing now to Obaseki. When he was the governor, everybody worked accordingly and... Um, they all respected his opinion as the governor of the state. But today, Oshomole is the governor and uh, Obaseki is the governor, I beg your pardon, and will not allow Oshomole to rule and to govern a um, um, Edo state the way it should be. Obaseki, uh, Oshomole is making things really difficult. Again, I want to say something here, that Obaseki and Oshomole, have been great friends, and both of them, we, uh, we don't forget that Obaseki was in Oshomole's administration, and they worked very well together, but today, the case is different, you know, we don't know exactly what the reef is, but we know that Obaseki and Oshomole are really going through serious patches. Uh, Obaseki is saying that Oshomole wants to act in the position of Godfather, of, uh, acting as a Godfather to him. He, Mosh Obaseki, does not want that and will not condo that, as this will not help the party to advance or to make progress. He's saying Oshomole should desist from the act of Godfatherism and should allow him to govern as the govern, governor of the state to be able to affect the life of the common man on the streets. I want to say here that all those state people, please, let's call a spade a spade. You are the one faced firsthand with what is going on in Edo State. If you know Shomola is doing well, please come out in mass. Um, Bas, uh, I beg your pardon, Obaseki. If you know Obaseki is doing well, please come out in mass and support him. But if you know he's not doing well, also come out in mass and say it, that he's not doing well. He's not doing nothing for the people of Edo State. And if you know Shomola is disrupting the peace and the quietness and progress of Edo State, also speak up. There is no need to be on the sideline. We cannot be on the sideline here. The days of being on the sideline is over. You have to speak up for what you believe is right because the state belongs to everyone from a those states, you know. So if progress is going to be made, if people are going to feel the effects of democracy, everyone has to be honest. Everyone has to speak up for what is right and not with no favoritism or looking at anybody's face. It has to be you know, a place where people are able to speak up to say, you know what, this is what is going on in Edo State and um, we are not happy. And, you know, by the time you speak up, people are able to look up and say, okay, this is what is going on. How can we help? What can we do? Yes. But if you don't speak up, silence the says condescensor. It means that everything is going on. Oh, you are having a splendid time. Everything is fine. And there is no cause for alarm. You need to speak up. You cannot be quiet. You cannot stay on the sideline. You need to speak up for what is wrong. And remember, no politician is worth dying for. Whether it's Shomole or Baseki, what we want is the good evidence of democracy. Don't allow anybody to use you or push you around. You are a person of your own. You have a mind of your own. And we are people that should be properly looked after. When they came into power, one of the things they did was to promise us that they were going to um, con uh, construct good roads, hospitals, there will be constant lights. Yes, that's part of their, um, their, their tactics of getting us. There will be lights, electricity, water, and children will be able to go to school without parents being scared or afraid. 
These were some of the promises they gave to every one of us. And we felt, oh, why not? Let's support these people and let them get into power. But what is the case today? After getting into power, have they really uphold their integrity of what they have said they are going to do? So these are some of the things we should consider. Yeah, you have watched the video for yourself. I would like to get a feedback on what you think, especially those from Edo State. Please leave me a word, leave me a comment. Let's look at this together. Let's let the world know the truth of what is going on in Edo State. I want to say thank you everyone for listening. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We are here to update you with all that is going on in Edo State. You are very important and the state means a lot to every one of us. Don't allow anybody use you. Have a lovely day. God bless. Bye.